क्या है यहाँ दिस दिस वन इज स्टार्टिंग वन सेकेंड जस्ट चेक इट आउट वेदर इट्स कमिंग एट He's planned now. Hello, good evening, and welcome back once again to my session. Here we are going to track our CAT and all the other management exams that. We all are planning for. You are planning for, right? So, welcome at An Academy Plus, India's greatest and largest learning platform. So, what is An Academy Plus, or what is Plus subscription? Well, you are here to get the maximum out. of whatever you have in your hand just more than that in fact so you get an access to unlimited recorded as well as live sessions of your courses from india's best educators and top most educators of the world good evening once again my friends i am sumati sharma i am a post graduate in art stream and I have an experience of working as principal and vice principal for the past fifteen years in various renowned schools of Rajasthan City. Well, education or teaching is my passion, and I have a good year number of years added to my teaching experience, where I have taught students of grade nine to twelve subjects like English and social science. and on the other hand i got also got an experience of teaching cat aspirants and the students who are pursuing or who wish to go for the other management courses or exams like bba bpa bca plat bpo mat etc guys here is my small introduction i am a uh, lover of sports and i believe in myself i am a self motivator and love to take up challenges in life that is a small introduction about me let's get back to the plus subscription or the an academy plus kya aur features hain kya advantages hain yahan aapko plus subscription dene ke so you get a structured course and it is in line with your exam syllabus you get to attend the daily live classes with your educators you can get engaged you can talk about your problems you can problem in the sense about the questions or while the session is going on you can solve your doubts your queries your problems there and then even when the session is going on then you have the live tests and quizzes which prepares you for the regular tests and quizzes and you get a report a detailed analysis of your performance from the best educators and you go hand in hand with your educators who are always there to solve out and they hand hold you like no other the other advantages of being at an academy plus is that the sessions here are taken up in various languages it is just not the sessions that you can attend only english session or a session in hindi or a bilingual but there are more than 12 other languages where our educators take up the sessions and you can attend you can opt for any of them there's a schedule that is personalized and that is worked according to you with you along with your educator you can get your doubts cleared while the session is on you also get to see or make a mark on the leaderboard if you if you participate 
constantly in the life pose, which helps you to give you more practice and hands-on, better hands-on your course, whichever course you are doing here at Unacademy Plus. The live tests and the quizzes are, are based on your practice sessions, the theories, the mock tests, they're all curated in that manner. And you can have a track on your performance through the detailed reports and the analysis which is prepared by your educators. And you can get a complete or an in-depth insight about your performance there. You also have an access here to the best of the learning material. That means the quality material here on Academy Plus and you can avail that advantage, that opportunity. So guys, what are we waiting for? Good evening, Rohit. Welcome, welcome to my session. And uh, good to see you. So if you are aiming for a 12 months course or you're looking for a 12 month course, then you just have to pay 15,750, but you can only pay this amount and you'll be getting a 10% of, that's a 10% of amount on the course, which is for 17,500. So if you want to avail this 10% off, you can, you have to use my referral code, which is S-U-M-A-T-I. If you are going for a 24 months course, then again, you can avail a 10% off on 21,000 and you will only have to pay 18,900 but only when you would use my referral code that is S-U-M-A-T-I. All right, so the session here today is on synonyms. Well, synonyms is, you know how important it is. Word. We all know what are synonyms. Synonyms, a word which has similar meaning. Word which has more words and have similar meanings. But be very, very careful. The words which are the similar words to that particular word can have different usages in the sentence. So don't be just fooled that I know one word which has, I mean, I know at least seven to eight synonyms of this particular word. So bright, bright, intelligent, vivacious, intellect, um, energetic, enthusiastic. So I have these conjugation of words. I have this, ba these, this bank of words for one word, so, but their usage may vary in the context when it is there in the sentence. So please do not be fooled by that. Those synonyms mean the similar words with the similar meanings. Let's move ahead. So our first word of the day is assiduous. Now assiduous here mean, since this is the first uh, session on uh, synonyms, we are going to look at the bank of words here. And in my third session of synonyms, we are going to work out on a lot of exercises. So there you're going to be tested for your synonyms. So it means hardworking. A person who is very hardworking is known as assiduous. Now, now you are watching here. Right, Rohit? So now you are watching that what is all this? Now, these are, these are actually, I've taken the first letter. That means I've taken the whole spelling of assiduous. If you can see, A stands for assiduous. S, sedulous, which means I've made a sentence here. The success of this very useful scheme was duly, was due chiefly to his sedulous interest and help. That means he was doing a very hard work there, taking that sedulous interest and help. 
So A S then S tedious. Now this is not related to books only here. Asidus A S S he always pays studious attention. That means very hardly he uh, gives a very concentrated mind or brain or attention to details. That is studious how it has been used here. I industrious again it means hard working. Apart from his intelligence, he was tirelessly industrious. So you see that from this only from this word. So from this word assiduous here, I have broken, I have also, you know, broken the, this spelling and each letter here has the same meaning that is hard working. But its usage may differ in the sentence. A for assiduous, then S of assiduous, sedulous, very hard working. Studious, not academically, not that usage. But then he pays studious attention to detail. I, industrious. So he was tirelessly hard working. Apart from his intelligence, he was tirelessly hard working or industrious. Let us complete this, wo this uh, word on the next slide. Assiduous, not D. Okay, let me just... Write down this spelling because I we cannot go on the back slide. So we did we have seen A S S I, right? Industrious. Now D, D diligent. Your diligent combined with your innate talent indicates a dynamic future. I wish you all the best in your college years. Your diligence or your diligency, your the way you work combined with your talent indicates a dynamic future. Then this you, untiring. Of course, hardworking. A person who, is, who never gets tired of work is known as untiring. His general attitude is one of an untiring and immense courtesy and helpfulness. So his general attitude is one of an Untiring means he never give, gives up. He's very hard working and immense courtesy and helpfulness. Then comes O. O for operos. What an operos business it is to establish a government absolutely new. So it is such a mind boggling or such an, a hard working task if you have to establish a new government. Altogether. So, what an operos business it is to establish a government absolutely new. So, diligence, yes. So, diligence, jo, aapka diligent, ek adverb, uh, sorry, adjective form mein aaya hai Rohit. But diligence will be a noun. And which noun? It is going to be an abstract noun. Then comes you. You means you here. I've used the word unflagging. Unflagging ka matlab bhi hard working hota hai, diligent hota hai, operos, untiring. So he thanked Tony for his unflagging energy and support. His unflagging means never ever tired, tireless energy and support. So he thanked Tony. For his unflagging energy and support. And this S. Steady. Slow and steady wins the race. He's not very steady on his legs. Means he's not very firm. Or now you know, usage hard working ka, diligent ka, untiring ka change ho gaya, But then steady on his legs. A person who is very hard working is steady. Right? So that is how this word steady has been used here in this sentence. Taking this, this word 
as it's one of the last letter synonym. So the next word in front of us is adroit. Adroit means the meaning is skillful. The person who is full of skill, full of talent, that is that person is known as adroit. So adroit A, Sam start karte, which is adroit. She's remarkably adroit and a determined politician. She is skillful and she is a determined politician. Then comes D. D, we have taken a word here, deft. Deft means skillful. He finished off the painting with a few deft strokes of the brush. So he finished off the painting with few skilled strokes. He, he has the skill of uh, using the strokes in a very skillful manner. So, deft strokes of the brush. We finished off the painting with a few skillful strokes of the brush. R, so adroit, this R. R, resourceful. The person who is skillful is always resourceful. He was amazingly inventive and resourceful. And played a major role in my career. So he was very skillful and he played a major role in my career. Now, O, original. The person who is skillful is original. He cannot be fake. So Hitler's original plan was to kill off all German Jews. So what here? A person who is skillful, who is talented, has also plans which are original. So, Hitler's original plan was to kill off all German Jews. I, adroit I. Ingenuous. An ingenuous idea suddenly came upon him when he was taking a walk with his wife. So, a very talented or very skillful or very resourceful idea or original idea came to his mind when he was taking a walk with his wife. Ingenuous. Now, what I'm trying to say here is aap ek particular synonym ko hi agar uske letters leke ke words same meaning wale words find out karenge. If you will find out from that single word, if you will use all its letters and find out the synonyms of those letters and those words, you see that your bank of words or your vocabulary bank will increase. It will increase to a rapid speed and you will see how quickly and how easily you will start Remembering because for adroit, suppose we are picking up adroit. Now you will go to the, the thesaurus or the, find out the meaning in the dictionary, then go to thesaurus and find out five, ten similar uh, words uh, related to adroit. That won't help. But then adroit, kohi, uske similar words, jisse wo words bhi yaad rahe. Kyunki wo usi letter se, usi word ke letter se bane. So this is much easier and this is what I have done here in my session today. I've taken up these, the letters of a particular word and then I have put the same meaning also. I mean the words have the same meaning. Usage might differ but the meaning is same. Now this T, adroit, tactful. I tried to find a tactful way of telling her the truth. So, I tried to find a tactful, skillful way of telling her the truth. So, our next word is abhorrent. A-B-H-O-R-R-E-N-T -R -R -E means hateful. Something that you despise. Something that you hate. Something 
that you do not like at all. Abhorrent. Now, abhorrent, A, we start with A, which is abhorrent. Racism of any kind is abhorrent to me. It is hateful to me. I don't like in talking about or I don't believe in racism. So, of racism of any kind is abhorrent to me. Take B here, base. Now, base, you would say that base to kisi cheez ka base hota hai. But see how the usage of this is hateful in this sentence. The initial talks were the base of the later agreement. So the initial talk, initial talks, Jyoti, the discussion, te, they were based on some kind of hatred and which turned out into an agreement later on. Then, abhorrent ka H, horrid. What a horrid smell. What a horrible smell. What a hateful smell. The medicine is horrid. It is hateful. And that's why she couldn't take it down or she couldn't get it down. So, the medicine is hateful. She doesn't like medicine. Now, abhorrent O. Odious. Her chimit is certainly the most odious man I have ever met. He is the most hateful man. He is the most disgusting man I have ever met. Now, you see, the abhorrent means disgusting. It also means uh, I have just used one. Uh, hateful is there. Then, some other words, what I was saying, if you will find out from thesaurus and other books, it will take a lot of time. Try and use that word only. Use the letters using the similar meaning for the letters which are used in that word. So, her shimit is certainly the most odious man, the most hateful man I've ever met. R, here, this R. Repugnant. Repugnant. I find his political ideas totally repugnant, totally distasteful, totally hateful, totally out of the senses. So they are horrible. I find his political ideas totally repugnant. We'll continue with, we were left with, okay. This is, this was your word, abhorrent, which means hateful, right? So again, R. R, ye wala humne dekha tha, repugnant. Now this R, repulsive. I think rats and snakes are repulsive. They are hateful. Graham was so repulsive that surely no one would be interested in him. So he's so hateful, he's so disgusting that no one is interested in him. Execrable, this E. E for execrable. On what foundation does your bold, mad, pitiable and execrable arrogance rest? So your hateful arrogance on what foundation does it rest? Kis basis pe aap kehte ho ki aapka ki jo arrogant attitude hai? On what, what basis, on which foundation do you speak of? Then N. Nauseous. Now this is not that nausea. It is. Nauseous is related that I'm feeling nauseous. So yes, of course. But then, it, as I told you, According to the usage in the sentence, the meaning also changed. So, I felt nauseous and rotten for a week. I felt very disgusting. I felt very hateful towards something. Kisi or cheese ke liye and rotten for a week. And the last letter here, T, terrible. So, it was a terrible thing to happen to someone so young. It was really something which was not good. It was very, it was not hateful, but
but it was a terrible thing to happen to someone so young. Repulsive views. Yes, absolutely correct, Rohit. You're right, repulsive views. But repulsive, hum zadatar, we talk in context of not thoughts or views, not ideas, but generally repulsive word is used for a person. He is repulsive in nature, right? He doesn't have repulsive nature, but he is repulsive in his nature. That is how we make use of I mean, it depends. Ki wo verb ki tarah aara hai, ki adjective ki tarah aara hai, ki noun ki tarah aara hai. So sentence mein wo jis bhi aapki context mein aara hai, us way mein aapko, like I told you, diligent and diligence. So diligence, diligent was your adjective, right? So diligent, that was your adjective, but diligence was your abstract noun, okay? So, okay, now A, okay, okay, we have a new word here, right? So, bad thing, Rohit, for what? So you have mentioned bad thing. And what have you mentioned? Bad thing for what? Okay. So let's come to my highlighter again. The new word here is apropos, which means something which is suitable, something which is right, something which is correct. Apropos, suitable. It is suiting according to the condition, according to the stage. Okay, bad thing. Repulsive nature, not cooperative. Yes, of course. So let's start with this letter A first. Apropos, we can use this, this synonym for this. He had nothing to say apropos of the latest development. He had nothing suitable to say for the latest development. P, the next letter here is P. So pertinent, the last point is particularly pertinent to today's discussion. The last point is very, very suitable, is very pertinent, is related to today's discussion. So very pertinent means related to, it is very suitable, it is absolutely correct in this situation for today's discussion. R, relevant, relevant, very common word, hai. appropriate, yes, yes, of course, appropriate, suitable, absolutely correct, Rohit, so R, relevant, she is well qualified but has no relevant work experience, she is qualified but she doesn't have a proper, suitable, appropriate work experience, right, then comes O, Opportune. It is not that opportunistic, right? It is opportune. This would seem to be an opportune moment for reviving our development plan. This seems to be the suitable moment, the right moment, the correct moment for reviving our development plans. So, all we have done and now we would be left with P O S. Right? So, P, proper, simple word. Hai. We should have had a proper discussion before voting, a right or a suitable discussion before voting. O, O is also simple, obvious. The suitable or the correct or the relevant. Obvious way of reducing pollution is to use cars less. So this is quite suitable. This is what is correct. This is what is appropriate. This is the, that is, it is the obvious way 
if we have to reduce pollution, then we have to make use of our cars less. And S suitable, that is your last letter here in Apropos. He was just not suitable for the job. Some soils are not suitable for farming. That's quite simple. Opportune, apt. Opportune, apt. Okay. Apt is, this is the right thing. This is right. This is apt. This is what you're talking about, Rohit. Opportune, apt. Okay. Let's move on to our next word, the next synonym that is abstruse. Abstruse means someone who is very difficult to understand. Kisi ko samajna, us person ko samajna baut mushkil hota ho, usse us person ko abstruse kehte hain. That person is very abstruse, who is difficult to understand. So, let's take A. Abstruse. Einstein's theory of relativity is very abstruse. It's difficult to understand. Okay. Your statement is a bit too abstruse. Your statement is very difficult to understand. It's abstruse. Let's take, let's look at this B. Baffling. He put forward a baffling question. It was very confusing. It was Meddling, it was meddlesome. So that is why very difficult to understand. So he put forward a baffling question. Then comes S. Sphinx like. He has always been sphinx like in his nature. So his nature it has always been very difficult. He's a very difficult person to understand. So he has always been sphinx like. So, agar aapko kabhi kisi person ke liye ye use karna hai that you are very difficult to understand. Don't use this word. Try and make use of you are very abstruse by nature. I have always observed. Or you are always sphinx-like. That is what I have observed. So, please make use of the new words, the synonyms in your everyday spoken English also. That will help you to remember your words build up your vocabulary. T. Tangled. Her hair was a tangled mess. So, difficult to manage, difficult, not difficult to understand, but hair was a, in a different, very inappropriate manner. My hair got all tangled. So, it was very difficult. It was a mess and it was not, not, Able to, I was not able to handle. Difficult to understand how to manage is how this word T has been used here. So the word was apps twos. Sorry. U S. Now R, we come to this riddling. The experiment which he conducted was riddling and messy. It was difficult to understand. Could not understand what experiment he has performed. So experiment which he conducted was riddling and messy. Then comes you. Unfathomable. Something which is immeasurable. So, person who is difficult to understand is also immeasurable. You cannot make out, make out ki wo kab kya, kaha, kya kaam karega, kya bolega. So, unfathomable. He is immeasurable in that sense. His glance at her was unfathomable. He is frosty. Means he is very cold by nature. And he looks unfathomable. Means he looks very difficult to understand. Then comes S. Secret. Simple. Secret of wealth lies in the letters J. So, secret means something which is difficult 
so you cannot a person cannot keep a secret right it is very hard for people to keep their secrets inside so that is difficult to handle difficult to understand and last letter of aptus e esoteric some words are really too esoteric for this dictionary they are very difficult to understand in this dictionary he has an esoteric collection of old toys and games he has such weird collection of toys and games that it is very difficult to understand so esoteric right another new word ruit ruit means a rumor ek afwa right so b ruit the news of his marriage was ruited about past tense is le hum past form of verb use kiya hai ye past tense aapka was use hua hai so isliye humne ed bhi lagaya so news of his marriage was all rumored about it was all talked about in sense of rumors that r simple rumor the rumor about him circulated rapidly so the rumor about him spread very quickly a rumor went through the town a rumor spread throughout the town you you say untrue a rumor is always untrue it is always false rumor kabhi bhi sach sahi nahi hota sach nahi hota so untrue the newspaper printed a denial of the untrue story the allegations were completely untrue so the allegations were untrue they were not they were not true i idle talk so rumor ko uska dusra word idle talk bhi hota hai idle ka matlab aise lazy hota hai but here for rumor we have used this i now look at the sentence he is always engaged in idle talk means he is always engaged in spreading rumors right so is always engaged in spreading rumors or an idle talk t the last letter here bruit tittle tattle well it sounds like tittle tattle to me i just don't believe it so instead of saying well it sounds like a rumor to me i'm not going to believe it so well it sounds like tittle tattle to me i just don't believe it so this is how you must start making use of new words new vocabulary and not using the common common words that we use every day hollow tittle tattle hollow yes of course yes that is it used used in another in uh, the other usage that is other usage of it but that is very uh, related and very relevant to this word ruit here the next word is capricious which means very strange in behavior right a person who is very strange in his behavior in his attitude in his mannerisms that person is known he is given this term that he is very capricious in nature so c capricious we can't go camping while the weather is so strange we can't go camping while the weather is so capricious a anomalous they were a decent lot and i was glad that they accepted me despite my anomalous position despite my strange behavior they knew it but they still accepted me they were very decent people p capricious ka p peculiar the wine this wine has a peculiar taste or wine has a peculiar very strange taste capricious ka r rum now this is not that alcohol or liquor that I'm, we are mentioning here but rum is also used for a person who is strange in his behavior and who does some strange things 
So I don't know what is going on. It's a rum business. That means it is a strange business going on there and I don't know what is going on. So rum is only not that alcohol, that liquor. But we also use it in this sense that I don't know what is going on. It's a rum business. It's a very strange business. I, K precious ka ye wala I. Idiosyncratic. Idiosyncratic wo person hota hai jo ki baat zada uski strange tarike hote hai sare kaam karne ke. His teaching methods are idiosyncratic but successful. So his teaching methods are very strange, very funny. But he is a still, a, he is still a successful teacher. Now we, that was the word, capricious. And we saw till this I, now we come to the C. Prochety. Prochety, he was warm, gregarious, means social. Prochety, strange and humorous. So he was warm, gregarious, very strange in his attitude and his behavior and humorous. Nice word, new word that you are learning. Irregular. I, irregular. Common word. His heartbeat was feeble. Feeble means weak. His heartbeat was feeble and irregular. Means it was showing very irregular up and down. O. O ka ya, outer. It is not that outer place or out, outer in the outdoors, but she likes to shock people with her outer remarks. Very strange remarks. Capricious ma'am, is this related to susceptible? Yes. Yes, of course, capricious is also a person who is susceptible by nature. So, iska usage aap jo karenge. So, he is susceptible by his nature. So, he is capricious in his nature, in his mannerism, in his attitude. So that is correct. You can use that is absolutely correct. I came across many new words. Yeah. You're welcome, Rohit. Welcome. We are going to have uh, nice uh, sessions on synonyms. And even I like the session on synonyms and antonyms. Very interesting. You. You for uncanny. Very strange. I had an uncanny feeling that I was being watched. So I had this strange feeling that I am being watched by someone. So uncanny, strange. And strange, last letter, as for strange, there was something strange about the way he behaved last night. All right, so we come to our next word, next synonym that is daft. A daft is a foolish person, stupid person, not sensible, a, nonsense, a person who is nonsense, full of nonsense, is a daft, a fool. The D for daft, it was pretty daft idea anyway. So it was a foolish idea anyway. Now A, asinine. Asinine means foolish. What an asinine remark. So what a foolish remark you have made. I must have been insane means mad, lunatic. So another word for insane. That is L-U-N-A-T-I-C is insane or a person who is lunatic or who is mad. I must have been insane to listen to your asinine gibberish. Gibberish is all foolish things. Crap. What we also call crap. So I must have been insane to listen to your foolish things or foolish crap remarks. F. F se yaan pe fatuous. It is not related to fat. Uncanny desires. Yes. Yes, of course. 
one can have an uncanny desire. So F for fatuous. The chief was left speechless by his fatuous remark. Means he was he was astounded to hear his foolish remarks. So he was speechless by his foolish or fatuous remark. T. Tom fool. Daft ka T. Tom fool. How can he stop being a Tom fool? He's always like this. So, what is stupidity or foolishness? Kaise rok sakta hai? Wo hai aisa. He's always like this. So, how can he stop being a Tom fool? He's always like this. All right. Conspicuous. Nice words. Likely to attract attention. Conspicuous. He was conspicuous among his colleagues. So he was the one who always grabbed or who was always the center of attraction or he was he always wanted to attract attention amongst his colleagues. Obvious. So a person who wants attention becomes obvious also. For obvious reasons, I'd prefer not to give my name. Yeah, it is quite obvious that he is lying. So it is most likely or it is obvious that he must be lying. N. Noticeable. A noticeable. There's been a noticeable improvement in his handwriting. There's an obvious improvement in his handwriting. S for striking. It is not striking a ball. So there are some striking similarities, obvious similarities between the two plays. And perceptible, okay. Perceptible. So perceptible, again, it is very obvious in nature. Someone who is perceptible, so who likes to attract or draw attention towards one. So my friend was in that party in a very strange, uncanny dress. So she was trying to be act to, to act as percept, perceptible in the crowd. So she was trying to act perceptible in that crowd. Inescapable. Our politicians are known for their fatuous speeches. Very nice, Rose. Very good sentence. Very good sentence. So conspicuous, capricious, uh, inescapable. Ye hamara word tha. Capricious. And this is our I. Inescapable. She didn't want to confront the inescapable fact. Escapable fact. That she would have to sell the house. So she was not ready. She was not, she was not able to uh, be, you know, knowing about this. She was not ready to accept the fact, the obvious fact that she would have to sell the house. C for clear, very simple. She is so loud and clear in her thoughts. U, unmistakable. Unmistakable, the old man was showing. Unmistakable signs of senility. Senility ka kya matlab hota hai? What is the meaning of senility? Old age, right? The old man was showing unmistakable signs of senility. Obvious signs of senality. Ostensible. O for ostensible. The ostensible reason for his resignation was ill health. So this was the obvious reason for his designation that he was not keeping good health. You for undisguised. She looked at him with undisguised contempt. So she looked at him with those inescapable contempt full of hatred. And last in capricious is salient. He read the salient obvious facts very quickly. Let's move on to, okay, idiotic. Simple word, eh? Idiotic 
का आपके सिनेनम्स इडियोटिक डोल्टिश इम्बेसिलिक ऑफिश राइट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ऑन द नेक्स्ट लाइक यू गोइंग टू सी मोर बट लेट्स लुक एट दीज सेंटेंसेज हेयर इडियोटिक स्टॉप आस्किंग सच इडियोटिक क्वेश्चन डोल्टिश he acts so foolish so idiot so such an idiot he acts like an idiot when he's with his girlfriend imbecilic his move there was stupid his remaining there is foolish imbecilic offish the bodyguards were brave but offish as usual means they were brave but they were foolish as usual okay ostensible more example ostensible more example ostensible reason for his resignation so what what more examples are you talking about rohit please write in the chat box in the meantime so t again tom fool we have seen what this this had come earlier also how can he stop being a tom fool he's always like this he's stupid he's foolish i for in a inane there are too many inane quiz foolish quiz shows on television these days so there are many there are too many uh, foolish or inane quiz shows on television pretinous pretinous is again something which is foolish to the best of her knowledge she had done nothing particularly cretinous so she had done nothing very foolish a very stupid in nature so she had not done anything inane nothing cretinous she had done dulcet so dulcet the meaning has sound sweet and pleasant d for dulcet u for uplifting l lilting all sound sweet and pleasant something which sounds very sweet canorous something which is very pleasant euphonious is something very dulcet and sound as sound sweet and tuneful is again something which is very pleasant dulcet quickly in her dulcet voice samara told him what had happened uplifting a voice is always uplifting when she sings in front of an audience very sweet voice very pleasant voice lilting he had a pleasant lilting northern accent canorous how canorous he sounds on phone how nice how pleasant his voice is on the phone euphonious he was enchanted with the euphonious music so he was in, he was enchanted he was enthralled with the sweet music sweet pleasant euphonious sound tuneful wonderfully melodic and tuneful his songs have made me weep so his songs are so beautiful that they make me cry because they're so melodic so melodious and so tuneful all right so these are some general you know slides which i just randomly uh, picked up for you synonyms so great ka kitne sare words hain ab great he is a great man great chhod dijiye bolna say excellent he is outstanding he is exceptional he is magnificent such a superior person marvelous person wonderful person right now interesting bahut common word hai interesting ki jagah what a fascinating idea what a compelling issue it was how captivating how interesting her thoughts are how engaging her views are she is so enthralling by nature she is so entertaining he is such an intriguing intriguing in his nature angry bahut common word hai leave such common words in your spoken english also use words like such an irate or why is he mad at me he is so furious today he is always full of enrage why he, why does he look so infuriated 
तो सी आप सेंटेंसेस के साथ जब इन वर्ड्स को यूज करना चालू करेंगे तो ये बहुत इजी हो जाएंगे आपके लिए टू रिमेंबर सो यूज मेक यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट वर्ड्स मेक यूज ऑफ सिनेम्स एंड विथ अ सेंटेंस यूजिंग दम इन अ सेंटेंस Euphemism, absolutely correct. Yes, Rohit, very nice word. So fast, quick, rapid, speedy, swift. Fast को छोड़ दीजिए, भूल जाइए. Rapid, speedy, swift. Smart, intelligent, brainy, bright. Okay, these are very common words. Important, significant, meaningful, critical, eventful. इंपॉर्टेंट बहुत कॉमन वर्ड ऑड ही सो ही लुक सो ऑड तो ही लुक हिज लुक्स आर सो बिजार हिज क्वर्की इन नेचर ही इज सो वियर्ड इन नेचर लॉयल डिवोटेड डेडिकेटेड डिवाउट ही इज सच अ डिवाउट पर्सन सच अ डेडिकेटेड पर्सन नाउ सम एडवर्ब्स एंड उनके सिनेम्स Finally, so finally की जगह आप यूज करिए eventually, ultimately, at last. These are the adverbs. So in place of very, I am very hungry. I'm extremely hungry. Incredibly, immensely. Recently, lately, not long ago, just. Probably, probably की जगह presumably, very likely, doubtless. Often, often की जगह यूज करिए frequently, repeatedly and regularly. Some verbs run, run की जगह sprint, bolt, Usain Bolt, right? And dash, walk, to stroll, to saunter, amble, choose, select, pick, elect, reject. to decline to refuse and nix hate despise loath abhor humne abhorrent dekha tha right stop stop ki jagah quit cease halt start begin commence launch in place of want you can use wish for or crave or desire Some adjectives here. Wonderful, he, she is so wonderful by nature. So wonderful ki jage amazing, awesome, fabulous, stupendous, interesting. That movie was very interesting. So that movie was very fascinating, appealing, captivating, engaging. Elated means to be very very happy. Happy, elated की जगह euphoric, ecstatic, exhilarated. So Tim is very happy these days. He is exhilarated by his job. Plus he was elated at the news of his big raise. All right, delicious. The food was very delicious. The food was very savory. it was delectable it was appetizing and scrumptious enjoyable enjoyable ki jagah pleasant delightful entertaining powerful he so powerful so he so influential so significant so mighty amazing incredible fabulous fantastic astounding happy ka humne dekha tha elated joyful cheerful ecstatic use these words in spoken english in the form in sentences they will help you strong forceful powerful tough amazing incredible awesome phenomenal trustworthy reliable responsible solid generous giving unselfish philanthropic this is one word which i really like mother teresa was a great philanthropist
Thank you. Thank you, Rohit. So that was all in the session today. If you've liked it, please like, click on like, share and subscribe using this code S-U-M-A-T-I. Please use my code S-U-M-A-T-I and like, click on like, please share and please subscribe. Till then, see you in my next session. Goodbye. Take care and happy learning.